What happened? Cat? Trouble. Huh? Trouble with the car. You have something for me? Number three? Yeah, we're staying there. I'm going to go, go somewhere. It's a 25. Huh? It's a 25 candy. It's what's your name? Daniel. What? Daniel. Daniel? Daniel. I, Tony? Daniel. I got, got you on tape, okay? I got your video. How old are you? You're 20? And why are you out here? How long have you been working here? Uh, I have already been at SM. Huh? SM Clark. Oh, SM Clark? Okay. Jesus, man. Lady boys everywhere. This place is infested with them. I mean, I, I'm pro LGBT, you know? They don't bother me. But they're snatchers, they're, they're pickpockets. Here, you know? When, when, when you're drunk, they come up to you. They say, sir, can I help you? He said, get your fucking hands off me. They go around with one hand, they pull the arm, and they pickpocket your pocket. And they steal. And then they run away. <laughs> Fast as hell. These are lady boys too. They're everywhere. Somebody asked me why all the tourists leaving. Why? Freaking lady boys, I think. Lady boys approaching, massage, massage, drink, 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 happy hour, happy hour. You can't even go to the store without saying 50 no, and then you get the beggars asking you for money. God, I'm starting to hate this town. I really am. Not liking it at all. I'm grabbing me a 50 peso beer. Not bad at all, eh? Yeah. Hey, que pasa, amigo? Good, man. Hi. How's it going, my friend? Huh? Hang out here with you a little bit, huh? Well, I better than that. Hey, I like your voice. I'm so cool, man. I, I got a cold right now. You got a I can't, I can't tell the difference. Can I get a beer? Better learn. San Miguel Lake? The ash house there is. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you look like you're putting on some weight, too, man. I got lost the first. Yeah? I got drunk the other day so bad, man. I had my birthday. Man, oh, yeah. I went through about 20 something thousand pesos, man. I believe it. That man, long. I bought uh, two bottles of uh, Grey Goose vodka. Yeah. You know, the. the, the That's the, 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 Canadian the, one, isn't it? I don't know what it is, but it was good as hell, man. Yeah. It was delicious. Well, if I was home right now, I can't be home. Because I'm still waiting for my pension. Well, I'm not done. Are you American? I'm Canadian, but Jenna Motors Canada used to be Australia. Ask any Aussie you ever meet. You like GM? They'll tell you about Holden. They screwed them all the royally. How old are you? 61. One more year you retire, right? Wow, well, 65 Canada. Well, 62. Well, 62 uh, for a little bit less, right? Yeah, less. Anywhere from. I don't know, when are you allowed to opt in? 757 maybe? But then you, you go too early, you get peanuts. And what do you, you get? A lot anyway. What do you get if you go all, all 67 years? Well, it depends how much you contributed. Yeah. It's, uh, I was sole proprietor with my father for how long? So, so then anyway, you're the, you're the minimum. 17 years with General Motors. Oh, you got a lot then. No, no, I, my, my CPP, that's Canada Pension Plan, Last I looked, it was 500 and something a month, Canadian. And with the, um, the amount that General Motors offered me, they said, sign, we're not hiring up. We don't care what our doctor said, because the doctor said, you're back to work. Their doctor. Yeah. But then when I got, here I am, boys. Oh, no, out the door. 16 years, 16.7 years. Did they pay you uh, a, a Seven service? Years? Nothing. So. Nothing. Well, I'm before the Labor Court, Ontario Federation of Labor Board, and Human Rights, because they branded me a thief. They said, there's something not right. Can you tell us about it? I said, oh, well, there was an accusation against me, but General Motors 
the obvious thing must have uh, believed it on true because nothing was done. I gave them all the information that they pro proposed. You gave them 17 years of your life, so you gave them. Oh, yeah, and 17 years of my yeah. life. And they said, and the contract even says that anything prior to two years back doesn't matter anyways. And the union, units, uh, uniform, they threw me under the bus. The that's union? The union, and that's equivalent to the UAW, that they separated, but they used to be one unit at one time. That's called the corrupt government. Big time. The government cahoots with big labor. Well, that's part of what I'm saying. And the Federation of Labor, they, they are going to tell me when the mediation is. And then, and I said, look, at the contract says right here, this is what happened. This is what the union's done. They just casually threw them. Me under the bus. Well, I'm so sorry for you. That, su that sucks, man. Wow, well, good thing I had some savings, man. That sucks. If I had no savings, they'd be having me by the shark hairs. And then I wouldn't, what could I do? But but the lawyers are, are, are with you on, on the contingency, right? No, they won't. Oi. I apply, no lawyer wants to touch me. Not, it's not like America, I guess, because there, you see advertisements all over. Hey, call us, call us, call us. But, yeah. And when I went back, I had a contingency plan. Because, hey, hey I, if what happens, because I'm no longer getting any income, and I am a licensed nurse, and then they said, prove you speak English. You speak English? That's what they said. This is Ontario government which is the conservative government, not our famous prime minister. <laughs> Ontario's <laughs> French, is what yeah. yeah, but they don't like him for many other reasons. Not just, well, I, I have French friends, I have friends across the board, but he's got a lot of people that I used to hear, oh, you're prime minister. I wouldn't hear, I, they wouldn't know who he was. Now people come up to me and say, your prime minister, what an idiot. <laughs> Used to be like, hey, Toronto, isn't that the Maple Leafs? Or don't we, you guys got that Grizzly team out in BC? And, but now it's like politics. They got Molson. <laughs> well, you hear about them too. Good hey, Max. You doing hard on side? Good, I think the recorder's going here, man. <laughs> I just got a head inside for a minute and a half. Head for the seven, eleven. You got a cool accent, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a really deep Australian accent. Hi, Maxie. Hi, Maxie. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. I like your shirt, man. Wow. <laughs> I like your shirt, buddy. Dang, man. <laughs> and the winner of the best t shirt contest. I'm surprised the cops won't arrest you for that, man. <laughs> yeah, you're not. You're not gay enough to live in Canada, Max. I'd be arrested in Australia for wearing this. <laughs> yeah. Don't be no joke, and I'll be back in five. All right, buddy. <laughs> I couldn't leave it because I'm a nurse registered. Because when I was on disability, part of it was, hey, you're going to the doctor, better yourself. And what are you going to do when you get there, though? What kind of work? Well, I could have been a nurse. You're going to be a nurse they, again? But they wouldn't recognize my... I'm registered in New York. Go, go, go work in New York. They said, and they said, oh, Dude. well, nursing in New York's not like nursing in... Dude. And I said, look at New York has gunshots Dude. Dude. and everything else. Dude. Dude. I know you had money there, but... No, not just money there. After five years, you qualify for American Ah. And you well, qualify for Canadian and American yeah, I know guys. You're, regi done that. you're a registered nurse, you get both yeah. there.